Welcome to Marlins Way, where we find Lone Depot Park. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Tampa Bay Rays taking on the Miami Marlins. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. Just about set to go now. And our pitcher tonight, Trevor Rogers. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist singing. Just a four inning start his last time out. He took the loss. They're looking for more out of this guy today. Now up for Tampa Bay, Randy Arozarena. Tampa Bay, the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. The wind of the pitch. That one misses. And that's how this series begins. And a pitch. And the 1 0 misses low. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. That one missed. Now 3 and 0. Oh. And there's the strike. Clips the outside corner, and it's three and two. A wind and a pitch. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he's got a leadoff double. He was all over that one. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Manuel Margot up to the plate. First offering, and it just misses. Pick off move to second, and Rosarena dives back. Runner at second, nobody out. Right side. Bet settles underneath it. Puts the squeeze on it. Rounder tags it second. Close play, but in there. Yandy Diaz now. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Strike one. On one. One away with a runner at third. Pitch ball. misses there, and it's a ball and a strike. Nice. There's a strike. The pitch. And a ball Two evens the count. Ground ball to the right side. And foul ball. Slow roller up the middle. Throws to first. That's it, Al. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Second base, Brandon Lau. And now it's Brandon Lau, fourth in the AL and RBIs. 
It's all RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. Whoa, I think you attack him in this spot. Two outs with a runner at third. Next pitch misses inside, 2-0. and oh. A little tardy on that fastball. Is going to have to get it going a little quicker, get that front foot down. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Now batting Wander Franco. One for four in Sunday's game. On the ground to the left, Witt. They take the force out, third out. So one run in the inning on this base hit, and the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Miami, and today's starting pitcher, Tyler Glass now. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy is a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. The pitch. Joey Wendell, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. There's a strike. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Fouled off left side. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Glass now. Ready of deals. Out to short. Sends it across the first. One up, one down. So now here's the DH. Jose Iglesias. The MO for him is contact. The guy who's going to deliver average, not a ton of power. He's looking to hit a line drive somewhere. Y'all, that's why it's a team. And when you look at a lineup, he's a great two-hole hitter or a guy that you could put at the bottom to help turn that lineup over to have some momentum for your top hitters coming up to the plate. Glass now back to work, the 0-1. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Makes the catch up against the wall in foul territory. Batting third. The second baseman. Luis. Luis Arise stands in. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Yeah, that's outside. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. Outside. Jazz Chisholm Jr. waiting on deck if they extend the inning. Plenty of pop in his bat, so he could give them the lead with one swing if he gets the chance. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. 
Now this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past and it's an issue once again early on. Runner at first with two away. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Next offering pop foul off to the right out of play. Righty to the plate. Bounce back to the mound. And that one finds its way through. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Here's Mookie to hit. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. There's a strike. First and second, two down. He swings and fouls one off. The 0-2. And one. ball one. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. In the dirt. Count moves to two and two as the runners hold. And the right hater deals. And now it's filled up. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Swings and misses, struck him out. Gassed it right by him. Marlon strand a pair, and it remains 1 0. I was never a gentleman, I was missed in a trap. Let you spend all this money tomorrow. I'll get it back. And she told me don't leave my toe And welcome back. Harold Ramirez at the dish. Harold Ramirez. The pitch. Grips one to right, and that's just foul. Rogers, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, and he works in a two-seamer. And a liner out into right center for a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So up next, Jake Berger. Swing, and that one hammered. Down the line. If it's fair, it's gone, and that is out of here. Third home run of the season, and they boost their lead. It's 3-0. see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing Francisco Mejia coming up to hit and the first pitch misses for ball one it can be tough to bounce back after a big home run but nobody on nobody out you just have to treat it as a fresh inning The pitch and that one sliced foul on the mound he's got to remember his offense can score a lot so if he can hit the reset button from here going forward there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game one ball two strikes the wide the kick and the one two swings and misses struck him out Nico Holsizer next to hit for the Rays Kind of a throwback. 
No batting gloves. Edge of the zone for a strike. 0 and 1. One down, base is empty. Tried to check his swing there. Now an appeal to first. He did not go around. Still only one out here in the inning. This one in the air right field. Bet settles underneath it. He's got it. There's two away. Now bad. The left field. The left field. So the Rays batting order turns over. Randy or Rosarena, the next to hit, let off this game with a double. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Just missed. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Next offering upstairs. Hey. Strike on the inside corner. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Now they just threw that fastball by him. Elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location. Three. And he's got him. Strike three. And that'll retire the side. The Rays with a two-run homer. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at Lone Depot Park, here's the veteran first baseman, Garrett Cooper. Garrett. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Glass now, back to work. Going one. Swing and a miss, going one. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. At the belt and fires. Edge of the zone for a strike. 0-2. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Cooper started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. No swing. He held up. Patrick Johnson with the call there. The one two. And another <laughs> ball. Next one misses. Three and two now. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. The kick, the 3 2. In the air, right field. Margot settles under it. Pulls it in for the out. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't bad, seem bad, like bad, things bad. are in sync. That's and the so ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Glass now certainly has electric stuff, considered by many to be a strikeout pitcher. He might not be at the top level in that category, but strikeout's a big part of his game. Next pitch is outside. And he doesn't beat himself. I mean, he's going to throw strikes. He's not going to issue many free passes, and he's going to keep the ball in the ballpark. This one high in the air to left center. Pulsizer sizing this one up, hauls it in, and there's two away. So 
when you look at that, he's not completely preventing guys from hitting home runs, but he's so consistent that you look up. By the time he gives the ball over, it's the sixth or seventh inning, and there's one or two runs on the board at most. Brian De La Cruz stands in now and watches strike one. A little nope. bit high, maybe. One ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. The 1-1. One, one. Yeah. And that's in there at the knees. And a base hit up the middle. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And now Nick Fortes in there for strike one. All one's the count. Glasnow picks the first, oh, he's and he's back in on a dive. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. Now Sheesh, Singy, that was a laser shot, and a good thing we have StatCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. Here's Joey Wendell. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Bounce to the left side, and it goes just foul. Left hand hitter waits. That one missed. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. De La Cruz headed for the plate. One run is in. Fortes around third. He scores as well, and it's a one-run game. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Jose Iglesias gets a chance to hit now. 0 for 1 as he popped out foul to first. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Man at second. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And puts the squeeze on that, and the inning is over. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Back after this on the show. Back here at the ballpark, top half of the third inning. Here's Manuel Margot. The why to kick the pitch. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Go 
Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. Here's a rocket out to left. That's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. The first base is number two. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. And here's the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. He's 0 for 1. Runner, yes, Margot yes. runs. Nobody out. Runner at first. Now fly ball to right center. Touches down. That's a hit. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Lau at the plate. Single that drove in a run his first time through. Ball one, no strikes. Runners on the corners, no outs. That misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. The next oh, offering left. misses. Now three and one. No outs. Runners at first and third. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Got him looking. And a big sigh of relief from the mound with that called third strike. Here's Wander Franco. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss one ball, one as he was out front that time. And that one almost got him. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Two one pitches in there and the count is even. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. Rip to first, caught, dives for the bag, got him, double play. The Rays strand just the one, but they still lead it 3-2. Welcome back, bottom of the inning, and at the play for Miami, Luis arrives. Glass now back to work. That's a strike. Arise. An all star a season ago. A career batting average over 300. And he was born in Venezuela. In the air, left side. A Rosarena makes the play. And there's one away. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500 plus home runs, 3,000 plus hits, and a triple crown. So now it's the four hole hitter, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Whoa. And 
takes low for ball one. Up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Here's Mookie now. Struck out swinging his first time. 1 0. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. And the pitch. And that outside, misses off the outside edge. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Righty delivers. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. And it's 3-0. And a strike on the outside edge. And a pitch. And it's four, ball four. four. He pitch. missed down low. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now, now, now. The first base is Garrett. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to hit. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Pitch misses there. 1 and 0. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. And the righty deals. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. But no advance from the runners. Good hitters count the 2-0. Good eye right there. Three oh down. And there's a strike. Good heater at ninety eight. They say it went. One out. Runners at first and second. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, boy. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. And up next for Miami, Bobby Witt Jr. Glide out his first time. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The 1 0. Slider clips the corner. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. The 1 1. Liner brings it in. Runner tags from third. In there safely. Back even. It's 3-3. Three, three. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball. Just couldn't get it to drop in. So first and second with two outs. Ryan De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. That pitch gets the corner. It's 0-1. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. 
And a pitch. That one not close. It's a ball and two strikes. Fly ball down the line. A Rosarena on a dead sprint, racing back. Back some more. Next pitch misses. Two and two. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Tied up here in the early going. And he grounds one to the right side. They get the force. They limit the damage here. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Three innings complete, all tied up at three apiece. Back here in Miami as we go to the top of the fourth. And now it's going to be Harold Ramirez. The pitch. And that clips the inside corner. Just off, off the, the outside ball. edge. And that one hit to first. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. And that's a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Smoked on the ground a second. Gets it to first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Now that third base is Jake Berger. Jake Berger next to hit for the Rays. He's already homered here in this one. That misses. And that is ball one. They say it went. One ball, one strike. There's a strike. Struck him out swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. Francisco Mejia getting ready to hit. First pitch just misses. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Foul ball there. Yeah. That pitch in for a strike. And a count one and two. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Three. Sets him down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Rays go in order. One, two, three. So no change in the score. It's 3-3. Three, three. And welcome back. And here's the catcher, Nick Fortes. The catcher, Nick Fortes. Here comes a pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Ball one, no strike. There's a strike. On the ground to third. To first, one out in the bottom of the fourth. Now, 
Joey Wendell, the next up for the Marlins. One for two. Slider clips the zone. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Kicks and deals. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And next is the designated hitter, Jose Iglesias. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And here it comes. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. Nope, he held back. And down on strikes he goes. That's the second out. And now for the Marlins, Luis Arias. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Right-hander kicks deals. Nope, that's a ball. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Back here at Lone Depot Park, we go to the top of the fifth and stepping in for the Rays, Nico Holsizer. The pitch. That one missing inside. Well, these Rays, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. The pitch. Holsizer checks his swing. Now it appealed to first, and he held up. 3-2. Right side. Arise. Fires over to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now back. Left field. Randy Arozarena. Now it's Randy Arozarena. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. This to third, zips it to first, and the first two set down to the top of the fifth.
Now at the plate, Manuel Margot. Swings through that oh, one. Oh, and one. Bounced out to short. And he beats the throw. He's safe. Tough play on a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out. But it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Marco runs. Pitch in for a strike. Throw hey. safe. Yeah, I like being aggressive right there with two outs. It's kind of a classic steal situation. You get thrown out, no big deal. That guy at the plate leads off the next inning. Now, a single to the outfield can push a run across. Two outs. High fly ball down the left field line. And that will end the inning. One left for Tampa, still tied three and three. No ifs, ands, or maybe. I don't let trauma phase me. See on my grind, heavy for my baby. This is life. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The right hander back to work. Ball one there. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. Josh Fleming warming up for manager Kevin Cash. And the 1 0. -oh. And there's a ball. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. And he deals. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Two, one. Good eye right there. And there's a foul ball. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One gone here. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher, it's other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. At the belt and fires. They tried to One get ball. him to chase on a slider down and away. Yeah, the one-two misses to even the count. Two-two down. Swing and a miss struck him out. Just a mid 90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. So two down now. And here is Garrett Cooper. And a good eye there.
the 1 0. And there's a strike. Here's a 1 1. Swinging a foul straight back. The 1 2. And that one missing low. Here in the fifth inning, and here he is about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, he's really had to grind through to get to this point. Still two and two after the foul ball. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off speed pitch on this next one. Two two now. Line to left. Lays out, but it's off his glove. Base hit, and the inning continues. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Good job getting the foot down so he could catch it out front and pull it. Turned on it nicely for the knock. And now the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. In there, and it's 0 1. And a pitch. Now oh one and one. And that one lifted in the air center field. Holsizer makes the catch inning over. One left for Miami. Score remains tied at three. Back here at the ballpark, standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Brandon Lau. Lau, 28 years old, and he's been touching home plate quite a bit lately, scoring eight runs over the last 10 games. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. In the air, out towards left center, De La Cruz hauls it in, and there's one away. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Wander Franco. That clips a corner. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Next one is off the play, and the count even one and one. Ground ball left side. Whips it to first, and a couple of quick outs. Now that designated hitter, Harold Ramirez. To the plate now for the Rays is the DH, Harold Ramirez. Ramirez measures 5 feet 10 inches, 230 pounds, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Swing and a ball popped up. Arise. Brings it in for the third out. Offense held in check there. 8 9 1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. All tied up at three apiece. Josh Fleming taking over on the mound. Well, he hasn't pitched in a while. Coming You're on here after five eight. days rest, now, so now he should be rested. But we'll see if he Number has any rust to shake off. John Fleming. Now the left fielder, Brian De La Cruz. The left fielder, Brian De La Cruz. The why to kick the pitch. And one ball up. one. Movement in the bullpen. Sean Armstrong warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Beaks getting cranked up as well. The 1 0. A little bit low. And he pumps it a strike. On the corner for a strike. It's two and two.
got him. One away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Nick Fortes. Fleming measures six feet two inches, 220 pounds, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2017. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Here's the 0 2. Ball. And now 1 and 2. One ball, two strikes. Goes down looking for the strikeout. He's got to be frustrated with that call. That right there will drive you crazy as a hitter. That pitch has no business being called a strike. It's definitely not what the pitcher was trying to do with the curveball in any count, let alone a two-strike count. So the umpire right there, he's just rewarding a bad pitch. Stepping in, Joey Wendell. That one ran inside, almost got him. And now the lefty up and in, and the count is 2-0. Oh. And downstairs. Here's a 3-0. Oh. There's a strike. And he walked him. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. And now the DH, Jose Iglesias. Iglesias, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he was born in Cuba. Fleming throws over. Wendell dives back in. Outside of the United States, Cuba has more players and representatives in Cooperstown than any other country. Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic are close behind. Next one misses, and now it's even Four one and one. one. This ball's chopped on the ground. Over to Diaz, and that ends the inning. Marlins leave one. Six innings are in the books. Score holds at 3-3. Now Matt Barnes takes over. He last pitched two days ago. Now up for Tampa Bay, Jake Berger. He's already homered in this game. And the pitch. And that's a little high. And now two and nothing is that one missed below the knees. The next offering misses, and now 3-0. and So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at-bat turns out. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Francisco Mejia next to hit for the Rays, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Slapped foul. Strike two. Activity in the bullpen. Tanner Scott, the left-hander, up and throwing. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. 
Try your best to get in the scoring position. Next pitch oh, off the play. One and two to count. Got him looking. And one gone. Well, oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. And stepping in for the Rays, Nico Holsizer. First Whoa, offering yeah. misses the mark. That's down and in. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Betts running hard to get him. And a foul ball. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. On the ground could be two. One and second. And that's two. Got the batter to hit it exactly where he wanted. That textbook 6-4-3 double play gets out of the jam and back in the dugout. Back here in Miami, set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the second baseman, Luis Arias. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Margot makes the play, and there's one down. Great swing of the bat right there. Trying to get on is that go-ahead run. He just wasn't able to find a hole. And now the center fielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr., Ball one, no strikes. Curveball drops in there. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. The wind of the pitch. And another ball. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Left hand batter waits. That's inside. Battling here as he fouls it away. The wind and the pitch. Smash to the left side. Bronco. Jump throw. Awesome play there. Here's Mookie now. A strikeout and a walk. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Next offering is in the dirt. I got one ball, one strike. And yeah, that's outside. Ball, Next pitch three. misses, and now three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3 1 count. Rip to short. Franco on to first. Gets him easily, ends the inning.
New arm out of the bullpen, Steven Oker. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the bar. Not an easy guy to take deep. Here's the left fielder, Randy Arozarena, one for three. So this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. And here it comes. That's nope. a little bit low. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Here comes a pitch. And fouled off. The one two. That one is upstairs. That's the third. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Well, I definitely think the speed down the line played a factor on that throw. He had more time than he thought, but. As a fielder, the speed of the game and the speed of the runner sometimes can get in your head, and he just rushed it and failed to make a clean throw. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Manuel Margot. Step off, throw to first. The Rosarena dives back. Another move to first, and he's back in that time as well. Again to first, and once again, he's back in safely. Fastball almost got him there. Runner at first with no outs here. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Snap throw to first, and he's back in standing. Another throw over, and yeah, they're keeping him close. pitch just missed two one now a Rosa rain on the move tapped out in front of the plate over to Cooper no chance at the double play with the runner in motion and now the first baseman, Yandi Diaz. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. First pitch, and he just misses. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Wings through that. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Betts racing makes the catch. The bat Brandon. Next to bat will be the Rays four hitter, Brandon Lau. Clips the zone. Strike one. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. 
Not close with that one. And it's a ball and a strike. Man on second, two down. Lifted in the air, right center field. Chisholm trots over to his left. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And that is the third out of the inning. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And at the plate for Miami, Garrett Cooper. And the pitch. And he takes a strike. Off the mark there. And the count is one and one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. High in the air, out to right. Margot settles under it. Squeezes it. And there's one away. The batter number seven. Shortstop. And up next for Miami, Bobby Witt Jr., known for his late-inning heroics. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. That one catches the zone. That's strike one. Now to short, Franco. Slings it across, and Witt is out. Now no left so digging in, Brian De La Cruz. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. On the ground, right side, loud. The throw to first, that ends the inning. Miami down in order. It's the ninth, and we are tied. So the closer summoned from the bullpen, Dylan Floro. And this marks the 60th time he's come on the pitch so far this year. Clearly a very relied upon arm in this bullpen. And the batter will be the shortstop, Wander Franco. The pitch. That one catches the corner for a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Hit weakly on the ground towards second. On the run, throw to first. Franco gone on the play. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Out towards left center. De La Cruz settles underneath it. And there are two outs. Jake Berger next to hit for the Rays. And that gets the inside corner for a strike.
Check swing, no appeal, and it's one and one. That's big right there, being able to check your swing. Think about the count swing. Instead of 0-2, he's sitting 1-1 one, one against a really good arm. Misses inside, and yeah, that's ball two. Next offering is fouled back. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. Nothing doing for the offense that time. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. All tied up at three apiece. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Here's the catcher, Nick Fortes. And a pitch. And there's the strike. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Jason Adam preparing to come on if needed. on the ground softly to short Bronco rolls across the diamond and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth now now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter Joey Wendell so he came up clutch earlier in this ball game and really just needs to take the same approach think hard right back up the middle That's in there. That's strike one. All ones account. Kicks and fires. Gonna count one and two. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it's just foul. That was close. And a pitch. And just misses with that one. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Jose Iglesias waits on deck. pitch out towards right center field Holsizer moving back for this one he's got it and there's two away as good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand you cannot hang a breaking ball right there lucky it stayed in the ballpark Jose Iglesias the next up for the Marlins First pitch doesn't find the zone. Smash down the left field line. A Rosarena makes the grab, and that's the inning. to extra innings and now the catcher for the Rays Francisco Mejia the pitch fastball for a strike 0-1 just off the outside part of the plate 
Righty delivers. Got the back going too soon at strike two. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Paul Sizer in the box now. Take strike one. All tied up here in extra innings. Next offering is downstairs. One ball, one strike. On the ground, Cooper. He steps on the bag. Two in a row set down to start the 10. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Randy or Rosarena next to hit for the Rays. In there for strike one. To the right side. Takes it himself. Rays retired in order. Extras here. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Arias. The wind of the pitch. And that's in for a strike. That just misses. Ball one. Out to short, Bronco. Tosses to first, and here in the tenth, the leadoff man is out. Good sinker, low in the zone right there, and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Jazz Chisholm Jr., the next up for the Marlins. First offering, and it just misses. And a foul ball left side. Ball to strike. Swing and a pop up. Bronco settles underneath it. And there's two away. Here's Mookie Betts. In a spot like this, are you up there thinking to yourself, I'm trying to end the game? Absolutely. It's been a long one. You're hungry. And you're ready to go home. That's in there. And that's strike one. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. On the ground to third. Over to Diaz. Marlin set down in order. A new pitcher in the game, Tanner Scott. Well, he's a big-time strikeout guy out there. This season, averaging more than one per inning. So digging in, Manuel Margo. And here it comes. Ball one there.
late that time, and it's strike two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. All tied up. We are in the 11th. And that's down and away. Line drive. Makes the grab, and there's two out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Brandon Lau. Infield shifted to the pull side. Missing inside, and it's one to know. Kicks and deals. That one missed. No and there's a ball. Wander Franco up next. All tied up and here in extra innings. In for a strike now three and one. That one pushed to the left and foul. Line drive caught. Fleming back to work. Nope, Just missed. Ball. That one the other way. And that's a fair ball. Now it rolls down into the corner. The throw to second. But he's in there easily. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Now it's the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. There's a strike. Runner leads away at second. And base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. In comes the winning run. And the Marlins walk it off in the 11th. You know, he had to feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact. And the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today. Three, our final score, a one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.